Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico from the Creativity Cave and I am so excited to be here with you today to make these cards because I love them. Okay, so uh, this video is for a blog hop that I'm doing that the theme is using up your bits and pieces and scraps and leftovers and extras that you have sitting on your desk. Well, I am here for it. So I had done a card earlier this week, this one, and I loved this card so much. It's just so fun and bright and happy. And I die cut these words five times, but I only used part of the sentiment. So I, I die, or I, I'm sorry, I stamped and heat embossed the sentiment five separate times. And, but I only used one of each word, so I had all these leftover pieces, okay? And I love the layout, and I love everything about this card. I also have <laughs> this little, in my drawer, I have a little container that I put, like, leftover die-cut pieces in. And you can look at all those die-cuts in there. So this is just some of them. I actually took some of them out. But I have all these die-cuts, and I was like, oh my gosh. We got to do something with this. Well, then I kind of went down a rabbit hole. I'm not going to lie. I, I die cut a few more pieces. And and let me just show you what I mean by that. I, I did. And I, in fairness, I had these scraps sitting on my desk, but I kind of went to town. Like I, I went, I went, I, I dove in deep, you guys. <laughs> so I've got all these pieces. So I had to make some cards. So let's get to it. Let me show you how to make these cards. They're super easy. And they're super springy and I love them. Now on this card, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I um, I laid it out so I could show it to you, but we're going to make it. I haven't attached anything except the vellum. So I'm going to start with a half a sheet of thick white cardstock. I didn't want to have to uh, trim all these pieces again to make the video. Now, uh, in true using up all the pieces, uh, I cut a strip of vellum. This is from our layering designs vellum. It's a three and three quarters. And then I cut a five inch piece, a five inch piece. And then this leftover two inch piece, we're going to use two. So I don't know about you, but I always end up with pieces kind of like this. So I'm going to show you how to use that as well. Okay. So I've adhered one of these pieces to my card base. And then I trimmed out these pieces. Now in Again, in fairness, I still have all these pieces. I can make more cards with them. So I'm I'm good to go for five cards on this. I've now made, this will be the second one. So it's pretty fun. You get a lot for that effort. And the colors are just so happy and springy. And I don't know about you guys, but I am all about the spring right now. Um, except for my friends in the South Pacific. I know you're headed into fall, but you've had spring all this or summer all this time, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking these larger dies and kind of sprinkling them down the side here, overlapping, and I'm using my glue dots, as you can see. I had these left over from a card I made a while back. Now, let me just say something about these pierced blooms. These pierced blooms are amazing. These dies are being retired tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow. So if you don't have them, they are on probably my most recommended retired item. So you should run to my online store and get them. I'll put a link in here so that you can get them. They are amazing. And there's nothing really quite like them to replace them. So um, like they, they didn't put a new design of flowers or something. They didn't do that. So I just love these. I think they're so easy to work with. So I really, that it, they are just, they are on my ultra highly recommend list. Okay. Now, actually, before I stick this down, I, um, I put my dimensionals on the back of these. You are one of a kind. So I'm just going to kind of stick them down on here and then um, we'll put some embellishments on as well because you know I'm here for that as well <laughs> but this is really fun now my next card is going to show you kind of some other alternatives to doing this which I hope you will appreciate 
we'll do a little embossing as well you are one of a kind and um i will put a link to that that video i mentioned where we made that first butterfly card i flashed um in the description of this video for you so you can check it out okay so look at how fun that is now, um, to embellish, I am really loving these iridescent rhinestone jewels. I've always been a rhinestone girl, but I really like these because they're clear and they're just pretty. So we're going to just tuck a few of these in um, around our card here. And I just think this adds a lovely touch. Put a big one in up by these big flowers. Oops. And I also love my take your pick tool to help me get these on. Um, as you can see, it's really handy for placing things. I love it's got this tacky little end here. Now, of course, all this stuff is in my online store, you guys. So if you need to purchase any of these, please um, shop with me. Um, and these dies are like 40 or 50% off. They're a um, they're like a smoking good deal. And can I just say, look at all the pieces that come in that set of dies. There's tons of pieces. And we're going to use this label here on our next card. So here we go. This is our first card. Oh, I just love this. Now the sentiment, by the way, that I die cut this from is from a set called Slim Sains. And I really like it. There's fun, lots of fun things. I love that they're big, bold images as well. And we're going to use this and this uh, sentiment on our next card. So or our next couple cards, I should say. Okay, so that's our first card. We're going to make three today. I mean, at least. <laughs> So next up, uh, I'm going to once again start with a thick white piece of cardstock. Give that a good crease with my bone folder. And then I'm going to flip this over and add my piece of vellum. Now my favorite thing about vellum, when you're attaching vellum onto white cardstock, you can put adhesive all over because it doesn't show when you're doing vellum onto white. Which rocks. Let's not even cover that up. That's awesome. Um, okay, so next up, what I'm going to do is take and add some die cuts to this piece so I can really pull out whatever I would like. So I've got my pile here that I'm, I'm grabbing um, pieces from. So let's go with this one and this one and then I'm going to take I've already die cut a couple of these as well I'm going to put this right here just as like a placeholder and then uh, I'm going to add maybe this one and da, 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 get a mango so the colors I'm using today are um, let's see how about that the colors I'm using are um, Coastal Cabana, oh, Bermuda Bay, <laughs> Daffodil Delight, and Mango Melody. And then, of course, I've got some Granny Apple Green leaves. So I die cut a whole bunch of these as well. They are the best. So I'm just going to tuck some leaves. Notice I curled them because I'm all about that. Um, and we'll just tuck a few of these in here. I think I'll take a small one for down here. And that looks good. We're going to white emboss our sentiment on there in just a moment. Now, I also have a bunch of these white pieces. This, These are actually what started this card off, um, is I had a bunch of these pieces left over, and I wanted to um, use those. So, let's see. I'm just pulling these. I, I actually um, really enjoy these die cuts so much because they're so easy to just mix and match especially if you just die cut a bunch up and it's a fantabulous way to use up your scraps that's actually where I started die cutting all these from is I just used up the scraps that I had sitting on my desk actually left over from die or heat embossing all those words um, from earlier so anyway um, let's heat emboss this with some white powder now, the, um, if you have an embossing buddy, drop that on there. So I die cut that label. Again, same set of dies. It's, I'm telling you, it's magical. Um, I die cut 
that earlier and then we're going to stamp on it with some Versamark. So let me pull out my Versamark pad here. Oh, we got the we got the old one. <laughs> All right. Now I mentioned I was going to use the congrats to the graduate. Now this doesn't really scream graduation card to me all that much. But what I can do is mask off part of that sentiment and then I can use just the word congrats. So I'm going to take a couple post-it notes um, just because I can't quite get it all in one piece. So I've covered up to the graduate. I'm going to ink up just congrats. Okay, we'll remove the post-it. That one stuck to my ink pad. And now um, I'm stamping just the word congrats onto my label. Okay, we'll do that like so. And boom, we're good. All right, I'm gonna quick heat emboss this. Okay. Get off a little of the excess that's on here. That's my white powder, and then let's emboss. Okay, so I've got my heat tool. So there we have it. Let's pop this baby up onto our card. And then we'll add everything in on top of this. Okay, so I'm going to kind of scooch these just so we can get this on here. So that's popped up. And then uh, let's put everything down. This is where it rocks to have glue dots to help you um, attach all these little pieces and parts. I also like using my take your pick tool because that'll pick that up and just throw it on there. And then the pokey end can pull it off for you nice and easy, which just rocks. Um, you can see I kind of push it into the glue dots just to make sure it adheres. Okay, so let's take and put this one down to start with. I'm going to put a couple dots because this is a larger die cut. So I'll put a couple dots right here. Tuck that. Oops, see that didn't grab. There we go. Uh, tuck that leaf in up top then I'm going to take and this one I will pop up just because you know you gotta have a little fun going on here and then we'll kind of tuck that in right there like so and glue dot our leaf I always like laying everything out before I fully commit to it because that way if I need to make any adjustments, I certainly can. Um, and, you know, make sure everything fits the way it's it's supposed to before I start adhering things down. Because there's nothing worse than when you run out of room on a card like this. Um, so this is really helpful for that to lay it out first. Okay, so there we go. That is just so fun, but it really is going to sparkle when we go ahead and add the um, iridescent rhinestones to this. So I'm going to pull out kind of a bigger one here down at the bottom. Oops. And throw that in right there. And then we'll take some more. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put a medium one here. A little one over here. Oh, no, I'm going to put the little one up here. I'll put another big one over here. Kind of like spreading the love on these. And there we go. I think that looks fantastic. So super fun.
All right, so there's that card. Next up, I mentioned that little little piece that's kind of left over when you cut those the bigger pieces of vellum. So um, I always have scraps like this left over. So let's make a card with that. Now, one of the scraps I had left over from all of my activities <laughs> earlier this week where I had some strips of printed paper left behind. So these are from the Brights Designer Series paper and I love these. So go ahead and um, die cut some of those from your scraps. I'm going to put my vellum down on my card like this. And then we can do kind of a similar thing. So I ahead of time heat embossed this uh, label just like we did before same sentiment set which is the slimline sayings so I'm going to anchor this onto my card kind of like we did on the last project and then um, we're going to tuck in this time some of our printed our printed flowers which I think are just awesome okay so there we go now I'll start um, up top with kind of my bigger ones like so and then I'll finish them off with the smaller ones down below okay so kind of like our last card but I think these are super fun to just have these little pieces um, that you can you can use and again this is such a great way to use up the scraps that are left over from your um you know whatever other projects you're working on i i love how they how they work with that oops i'm gonna tuck that in like so so isn't that so cute i just love this i might even i might even throw one more eh. Eh. Right here no nope that'll take away from this one so I'm gonna leave it all right now once again um, I will take and adhere this one directly onto my card and then the next one then I'll, I'll pop up the next couple okay so we'll throw that leaf in there like so we'll pop oops pop this one up with oh I put the pulled the backing off not the dimension there we go there we go and we're using up our dots and that is just fine okay tuck that in um let's see I think I'm gonna pop this one up like so Ooh, I even have it kind of peeking on the top of my label How's that for fun? And then we'll put this one down, kind of overlapping under there, and a glue dot for the leaf that I stick right there. Oh, isn't that super cute? Okay, now for this one, I'm going to take and um, embellish with the amazing brushed brass butterflies. Now these just make me happy. They're so fun and I love, they're really thin, so they don't cause problems as far as thickness on your cards, so they're really wonderful that way. Okay, so I'm going to start with a big one down there, another big one over here, 
a little one right there. And maybe one more little one up here. Oh my goodness, look at how fun that is. So let me bring in the cards that we made today. So we used up lots of scraps and I've got more. I think I'm gonna keep playing. So I would encourage you to do this. I love the color combination and all the assorted bits and pieces that I had left over to play and create this card. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. Don't forget, you can check out, I have an online class with featuring these dies. I also have um, a free gift with purchase from my online store, which is awesome. Um, with every $50 you spend. And then finally, I have a downloadable product or yeah, project sheet on my blog that you can um, click in the description of this video for the blog post and download that project sheet. It's um, something you can print off and um, make these cards with directions as well as uh, the supplies I use, the dimensions, all the colors, all the things. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. The thumbs up really rocks. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here in the corner. And you won't miss out of any of the awesome videos that I have coming up. So thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.